While some posters are designed to look flashy or show off how many A-list actors can fit into a 27 by 41 inch sheet of paper, there are those rare few that aspire to do something more. The following incredible posters are crammed full of subtext and hidden references that you may have never noticed. Logan If there's one thing Logan doesn't but secretly does want you to know, it's that it's not your average superhero movie. It hides this behind a western-themed poster that references an era of slow-burn, morally-weighted films that have long since passed. Logan is a story just as much about superhuman powers as it is the gritty reality of these poor characters, which makes the movie that much more similar to its poster's genre archetype than a superhero adventure. It's a poster that's a bit on the nose with its message, but hides the true extent of its meaning until after you've walked out of the theater. As Above, So Below Riffing off its title, the poster for As Above, So Below depicts an upside-down Eiffel Tower that's pointed in the direction of hell. But what if, in fact, it's not pointing towards hell, but is actually representing hell itself? Maybe the Eiffel Tower is actually mirrored to represent the fact that we're all living in hell right now. The image features a tunnel built of human skulls, using human agony as a building block for urban planning. Perhaps the poster is saying that the Earth we inherited and continually corrupt has become our own worst nightmare. Thor Ragnarok of all the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Thor Ragnarok has one of the most impressively designed posters, featuring colors galore, a dope retro aesthetic, and some very cool portrayals of the lead characters. You might be wondering, how can this thing get any better? The answer is simple, a hidden reference to historic Norse mythology, also known as the entire basis for Thor's movies. Those big, colorful rings surrounding the characters are a direct nod to Norse mythology's Nine Realms and the Tree of Life the latter of which is represented by Thor himself. And, in a way, the message the poster is trying to convey is true. Thor is the central component in this entire universe. Yes! Kong Skull Island If you thought making King Kong look as intimidating as possible was this poster's only merit, think again. The design is particularly old school, calling back not only to the days of the Vietnam War, but also to the movies centered around it. Specifically, Skull Island's poster riffs on Apocalypse Now, the Vietnam-focused Francis Ford Coppola classic that featured an extremely similar aesthetic for its promotional art. From the stylized font to the helicopters ripping across a blood-red sunset, Kong is going one-for-one one with its inspiration in terms of throwback accuracy. A Cure for Wellness if the title alone sends chills down your spine, the poster for A Cure for Wellness only serves to reinforce that fear. Anyone who searches for something too good would invariably end up finding something bad, the poster warns, displaying a cure that's actually modeled after a Victorian-era poison vial. This is representative of the movie's general theme that, no matter how noble the goal, trying something evil in the quest for progress will always result in pain for everyone involved. The Silence of the Lambs it's no accident that the Silence of the Lambs poster is absolutely iconic. This expert piece of subliminal messaging was crafted to show just how ominous the movie is. Why is Clarice's skin so pale? To prepare audiences for the abundance of lifelessness ahead. And that creepy death's head hawk moth covering her mouth? It's symbolic of the transformation Clarice must go through to conquer her foes, similar to the moth in the movie itself, which transforms within a cocoon that's been stuffed inside the mouth of one of Buffalo Bill's victims. Speaking of those victims, look a little closer and you'll see that the skull on the moth's back isn't actually a skull at all. It's actually made of women, a reference to a famous Salvador Dali photograph, not to mention foreshadowing of Buffalo Bill's crimes and Hannibal Lecter's sophistication and depravity. And that same freaky moth covering her mouth alludes to, you guessed it, the silence of the lamb, also known as Clarice herself. Yes. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.